All right, guys, some parts came in. Try to get this stupid car put back together so we can drive it and see if this thing's gonna work. Let me show you real quick. So this guy is an adapter. So the bottom, or the, the tail of the uh, transmission has that shaft sticking out of it. And we use that to align, to align this guy. So this, this is gonna fit in here. It's gonna get smashed all the way in. I'm gonna go ahead and tack weld it, make sure it doesn't fall out. And then this guy goes on the back of the drive shaft, back of the flange sticking out of the transmission. This is perfect here. So it captures the four and three quarter spread versus the four and a quarter spread of this yoke here. So the reason I have to do an ad adapter plate is because I cannot find the right yoke to go from there to the drive shaft because it's quarantine stuff. So this is what I figured out. Try this again. Slides right over this perfect, just the right amount of movement, but it will self align the hub along with this guy will fit over that just like that. So the regular M12s go in there and I have another set of bolts. So what I'm going to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the four and a quarter spread and the yoke is going to bolt there's plenty of room on the back side perfect. There we go. So give me a little bit I'll get the drive shaft in. All right guys, here you have it. I'm going to try to uh, go ahead and shove this thing up in the car. A little adapter plate, the bolts. I was going to weld the nuts on the back, but um, I think for right now I'm just going to cinch them down pretty tight. See what happens. So, be the rear end side, transmission side. Beat that in there. It's pretty much stuck now. Um, it's flush. Doesn't really need to be, but it is. So, install time. softer but not 